Hello Church, it's really good to be able to speak with you again today. As we've seen on the news, the government is beginning to cautiously and slowly ease us out of lockdown as uh, the reduction in the virus and the spread of the virus allows. And we've seen a number of changes over the last few weeks. They're going slowly and they are consistently encouraging us and reminding us to keep to the social distancing rules. As a church, we too have been considering how we might ease out of lockdown together in line with the guidelines. As a church, as we are rooted in relationship, family and love. And we're going to have to be extra vigilant in ensuring we keep to the, uh, to the social distancing restrictions. For some of us, we will have to refrain from our natural want to gravitate towards people we know and we love, and maybe people we haven't seen for, for quite some time. But we all have a responsibility to help keep this infection down. I remember saying in the first few weeks that these days will pass. If I'm honest, I thought they'd have passed by now, but they will pass. And we all have a responsibility to help make that happen. So to that end, I've asked the ministry leaders to begin to consider how we might take advantage of the fact that six people can meet outside, keeping to those social distance rules. And it is so important that we do that. When we are outside, we're not just representing ourselves, we're, we're representing the church we're representing the kingdom of God. So it is six people, it's not seven. Well, it's only one and there's seven in my group. It is six. It is keeping two meters apart and thinking about how best you can maintain that. As a church, we also want, want to take advantage of the fact that faith-based organizations can open up for individual prayer. As a church, we want to open up the bridge to enable people to connect with the God of the Bible, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The government guidelines on individual prayer read as this. A place of worship is defined as a person or household entering into a venue to pray on their own and not as part of a group, led prayer or communal act. They should be socially distanced from what from individuals or households. We know that God is not defined to. Sorry, I'll start again. We know that God is not confined to a building. We can pray to Him. We can reach out to Him anywhere, anytime. And if you're listening to that this today and you're hearing that for the first time, then you can reach out to God right now, wherever you are. However, creating a separate space from everyday life where one can simply come and sit and connect with God is not always easy for people. And for some, to be able to come to your church will help provide that. We also recognise that for others, to be able to come for individual prayer to the bridge will be an important step in your own journey of coming out of lockdown. We hope in a few weeks we may be able to meet under different uh, requirements. Maybe a few more of us can meet inside a building, but we're not there yet. And for some, that will be a huge jump. This is another reason why we felt that actually opening the building for individual prayer would be a really important step. So when? Initially, we'll provide just two slots a week for one hour. If numbers will... If numbers require it, we'll look at increasing the, the slots and perhaps the way um, you book in. Because at the moment, we'll just do it on a drop-in basis. It'll be on Tuesdays from 12.30 till 1.30 and Thursdays from 3.30 till 4.30 p.m. And we'll start from this coming Tuesday, Tuesday the 23rd of June. Numbers will initially be restricted to just eight as we will be operating from the lounge. And that is where we can ensure we keep to the social distancing rules. And as it will only be for an hour, if you do come, just be mindful that there might be uh, uh, others who are 
are waiting to make use of the space. We've worked hard to ensure there is a COVID safe environment within the places that we're going to open up. So th this has included different e entrance and exiting points into the building and into the room, a one way s system for coming in and for leaving, removal of any literature or paper-based leaflets or shared Bibles. So we're reducing the amount of things people touch. You may want to consider bringing your own Bible as there will be none available during the prayer time. There will be no access to toilets. So please come bearing that in mind. There will be quiet instrumental music playing in the background along with, with, with a number of scriptures around the room that will aid you as you seek to connect and pray with our Lord. There will not be in any way a led service. Nobody will be leading prayers or Bible readings either. And we would ask you to refrain from socialising with people in the building during the prayer times. Once you've finished your time, please get up and leave the building. Remember, up to six people can meet outside, keeping those social distance rules. So if you see people during the prayer time that you may have not seen for months, please socialise outside, keeping to the two metre distance rule. As I said, we will review it over time. We will take some learning as to how it's worked and we, 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 we may well adapt what we do. So keep tuning in each Wednesday as I give us some more updates here. This is an important step as we collectively together navigate out of lockdown. I am looking forward to a time when we can meet together in slightly larger groups, but that time is not yet. In the meantime, I hope you might take advantage of these prayer spaces we're creating or opportunities to meet in your groups outside up to six people. Church, it's been great to speak to you again. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.